Okay, let's look around. This console controls communications tracking. Ah, so if we disable this, they won't be able to f determine where we are based on using our communicators. I have deactivated the communications tracking systems, Captain. Excellent. Oh wait, they're getting back up. Hang on a minute, we stunned them. Okay, stun them again. I don't think that needs to be phased. I do. I don't think that needs. Okay, fine. Let's just talk to him then. This guy looks more important. I give you credit, Arthur. You show extraordinary guile. Well played, Captain. <laughs> I'm not playing games. I'm trying to prevent Bradell from destroying the Federation. What's your name, mister? You're not so bad yourself. <laughs> what are you doing? Lowering yourself by working for a lunatic like Bradell. Yeah, that's not... I'm not playing games. I'm trying to prevent Bradell from destroying the Federation. I trust you have evidence to back this claim. We do. If I presented evidence, would you help me stop it? Is there any reason why I should? Because of the evidence? Do you want to see a hundred billion people die? Do you want to see the survivors of the Federation destroy Vardane? Not particularly. And Burdell has not treated us with the honor that the soldier class of Vardane demands. If this action threatens Vardane, our class code demands that we help you. Brilliant. I'll try to provide that evidence. I can't stop you right now. If you return here and present evidence of your claim, I will look at it. Until you can prove your claim, Kirk, my men will hunt you down like animals. Well, Spock. Present the evidence. I have copies of Bridell's files taken from the main computer. I believe you will find them to be authentic and of extreme interest. I love the victory music just there. The date on these files in the security code is from before you boarded. It appears you were telling the truth. This action will have consequences that are not in the best interest of the Vardane. I have no choice but to help you. Excellent. Did we win? Is that enough? How goes the revolution, Captain? <laughs> what about these guys? Welcome to security, Captain Kirk. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Uh, so this console. This console controls ah. force fields in special projects room. So we'll need to deactivate that. Wait a minute. I'm going to save first because. <laughs> save new game. <laughs> yes. Because that will. Uh, can we deactivate one of the force fields? Or do we have to do both of them? Hmm. <laughs> We're still just standing around. Are you going to help us I or what? the force fields in the special project room. Okay. <laughs> That's ominous. Okay. Can we just leave by. I guess we can. Just leave by the door. <laughs> Alright. Get ready with phases on kill, I think. <laughs> Oh wait, this is not the right room. <laughs> Damn it, why did they have to make both areas of the station look identical? I'm surprised it hasn't busted through the door already. Jim, look oh out. shit, yep. Rawr. Okay, quickly. Phases on kill. Yep. I doubt stun setting would have worked on that thing. Okay, Spock, take a look at the computer. Captain, I have deactivated the tractor beam. The Enterprise is now free. Fabulous. Let's communicate with the Enterprise, shall we? Uh, we await go. your success, Captain. Keep us posted. Okay, well, that was that was useful. Oh yeah, someone pointed out that um. A dartboard. <laughs> a very good likeness yeah. of James T. Kirk, is it? It's, uh... Let's get rid of that. <laughs> the offending dartboard is removed, revealing a set of control. Ah. Very good. A Let's set of once hidden controls. There is a key card slot. Oh, damn it. And a number entry pad. A key card? We don't have a key the card. Control sequence can only be entered from a science tricorder. All okay. right, Spock. Go ahead. Uh, there we go. I am inputting the code from the book. Two, one, six, two. The code is not correct, Captain. Oh. It appears to be a trap. 
I have bypassed the detonation circuit. Jesus. Uh. It is logical that Bridell would wish for the controls for his experiment to be close at hand. Yeah. Well, but if that's the wrong code, then what's the right code? It was in this book, wasn't it? The Journal of Ears. I'll read it. According to this book. Okay. This book. What no, do you think? I don't think that. Uh, wait. Spock, you look I'll at the book. It. No, that Spock read it. According to this book. Um. I can't actually get. I can't actually access the controls because Spock's standing the in the way. The control sequence can only be. All right, Spock. Uh. Come on then. You can just barely. I will need the correct code. Well, the book said something about two one six two. But that appeared to set off a trap. Hmm. Affirmative, Captain. I believe that was a deception by Dr. Bridell. We must find the genuine code. Hmm. Where the hell is the genuine code? Hmm. Bridell's nightstand. Is it in there? No. Spock, scan everything. Uh -huh. I'm wondering if someone in security will, uh, will help us. They promised to help us, and the only thing we need now is the security code. So let's see if he knows it. How goes the revolution, Captain? Uh, I need the code. Tell me the code. Welcome to security. Damn it. All right. Uh. Oof. I don't understand any of. Oh, that's that's bones. Whoops. No, stop scanning Spock. Vulcan mail and. Yeah, we know. <laughs> okay. No. I do not see the light. No, I don't either. <sighs> Stuck again. I have raised the force field. In oh, the that wasn't unnecessary, but never mind. <laughs> I have reactivated the. No, that's not really what I want to do. I have deactivated. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna check the handbook again. Okay, I had the right idea when I said scan everything. The problem is I didn't actually scan everything. I gotta scan the book. Nothing unusual. What? It says in the hint book you're supposed to scan. Nothing it. unusual. Wait a minute. Um, I'm supposed to take it because it's the bookmark. You pick up Bridell's okay. journal, and the bookmark falls out. This is unusual, Captain. I would not have expected a man like Bridell to rely on a paper record. Who knows, Spock? Okay, so scan the the bookmark then. <laughs> We've still got this. Uh, is that no? Nothing unusual Wait. about that. I can't tell which object is which. Is it this? Nothing unusual. Bridell's a computerized a bookmark from oh. Bridell. The bookmark is still on the table. Okay, because it fell out. Right. Uh, okay, scan the bookmark. Sometimes the pixels just make it hard to tell what's going Captain, on. There's a number coded in base 64. Uh, the number is 2188. Excellent. Let's enter that number then. Spock, you do it. <laughs> He's just got a bit wonky. I am inputting the code from the bookmark. Two, one, eight, eight. I have activated the code. Ah. The proto event weapon is decloaking. I have also managed to deactivate the station's shields and have a clear communications channel to the Enterprise. Success! Broadcast the coordinates, Mr. Spock. Have the Enterprise destroy that weapon. Excellent. The coordinates have been sent. Sweet! <laughs> Explosion! Scotty, three to beam up. So, security didn't even do anything to help us. Like, we broke in there, and they agreed to help us, but... I don't know, but apparently you get a score. That has to be one of the most welcome explosions that anyone will ever see. Yeah. There is turmoil on the Vardane Council, Captain. 
The members who supported Bridell's anti-Federation policies have been forced to resign. I expect improved relations between the Federation and Vardain. Excellent. That's good to hear. Though history shows that suppressed movements like Bredel's have a habit of resurfacing at inconvenient moments. Hmm. And unfortunately, Bredel was not found on the ship. Oh. It appears he escaped. I should have sabotaged the docks. The the, the he would have been he wouldn't have been able to escape if I'd sabotaged the the docking bay, which I undid by reloading. Captain, I'm receiving a message from the USS Alexander. The Alexander? Well, yeah, they're still alive because. In the present, they haven't been sent back in time. Temporal paradoxes are most fascinating, aren't they, Mr. It's not a paradox. They were sent back in time from the future, so why wouldn't they just be around now like normal? Are you attempting to annoy me, Doctor? No, he's trying to annoy me. On screen. Luke Rayner here. I know we've never met. Uh, yes, of course. We got your signal, and Starfleet has asked us to assist in cleaning up your operation. It's good to have you with us. Better than you could possibly guess. I don't understand, Captain. It's a long story. Come aboard, and I'll tell it to you. I reviewed your report from your recent assignment, Captain, and have a few comments. Okay. While you achieved the desired results from your assignment, Jim, I can only give you a satisfactory rating. Yes. I would expect Wait. as much from a cadet. What? I am concerned about your performance, and I'm going to have to forward my concerns to command. Kane out. Well, that's crap. What, what? I guess because I let Bradell escape. Come on, I did. I I saved the entire Federation, and you call it satisfactory? God, why are admirals such dicks? <laughs> Next episode. Aye, Captain, I'm looking forward to taking leave on Nova Atar. The museum there is supposed to be quite excellent. Lots of antique and one-of-a-kind machinery. Commander. Are you certain it's not the Kazakhstanian cognac you're looking forward to? Do they make that there, laddie? I don't know. Why, Mr. Scott, I'm surprised at you, not knowing the location of a famous distillery. We invented that brandy, you know. Yeah, you invented everything, didn't you, Chekhov? Right. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. No, really. We did. We did. No one would ever doubt you, Ensign, however... Sorry to interrupt, Captain, but we have an emergency call from the science vessel Demeter. She's in orbit around Balkos 3. On screen. 